What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and today we are talking about what has become one of my new favorite designs, the Twisted. The Twisted Mug. I think someone on Instagram came up with that name, the Twisted Mug. So we're gonna get on the wheel and show you how to do it. This, I tested it out and my one worry about this design was that when you drink out of it, it's gonna like come pouring out of one of the little spout things, but it works very well. Here, I'm gonna go get some coffee and show you, actually, right now. All right, got our coffee. See, I can sip it, I can sip it there. Oh, yeah, so good. Uh, yeah, so it works great. My worries were unfounded. So basically what we're doing, the brief overview of how to do this method, is you throw your cup or your vase or whatever you wanna put this twisted design in, and then you spin the wheel really slow, and as it's spinning, you take something from the inside and go and then you wait for it to go all the way around, and then you go shroop, and you wait for it. Yeah, so the hard part is getting it really even, so you are kind of you kind of want to time it so that as it's spinning, you do one, and then you do it again, and then you do it again. So we'll get on the wheel, and I'll show you, but this, these are super cool. So I, the first time I started doing it, I was doing it on bigger vases, and I would use my thumb on the inside and just go But then when I wanted to start doing it on cups, my hand doesn't fit in there. So then I started to use a wood tool, so you could use your finger like this on the inside, and that would make a little bit more subtle twist, like this. But then if you want like a more drastic, like real twisty, all twisted up, then you would do, then you would use a wood tool. So then I use this. So basically I'm just using this point right here to go All right. Get on the wheel. Oh, if you want to buy, I just added these new, since this is a brand new design, I just added these to the Kickstarter. So if you want to help out the Kickstarter and get a sweet, brand new, twisted mug, which doesn't spill all over you when you drink out of it, I promise. Go check out the Kickstarter. All right, let's get on the wheel and just throw some of these things. Uh, I gotta put my hair up first. I also never wear aprons, but Scott sent me this apron. All right, let's do it. All of our pieces are approximately anywhere from one, right around one pound. So as always, we get it centered. I like to cone up, cone down a little bit, get that little extra wedge in there. I'm using a square bat from Continental Clay because I'm gonna keep these all in bats. I'm not gonna take them off. Now we're gonna pull up. And basically for this design I'm doing, just wanna keep pretty straight. So we got our, got our pot right where we want it. Okay, so now to do the twisted design, we're gonna take our wood tool, right? And then stick it down and as it spins, we'll bring the wood tool up like that. Oh, and the other thing is I'm taking these two fingers to support around it and that really helps to make it, if you just did it by itself, we'll do a couple different ways, but I think the best way that I like so far is to use these two fingers on the outside. So we spin it and we go. You see that? I'll try and do it. So then that's, that's the first one. Okay, and then as it's spinning, we wanna just like, we'll see it go, and then 
One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna one, two, three, four, five. So then that's the twist. And then we always go back around the top edge and just make sure that that's really circle. That will help to make sure that no one is um, getting coffee or tea all over themselves. And that's it, that's the twist. So if you get the wheel going a little faster than I did, then the twists are gonna be a little bit more diagonal. If you get it going slower, then they're gonna be more straight up and down. There you go. basically how you do the twisted mug. I think some keys to the twisted mug are don't go too much right away. Like try and start out, don't just like just like just start out nice and nice and slow and steady. Consistent, I think consistency is the key in terms of like keep this w the wheel spinning at a consistent speed and then like raise that line up at a really consistent pace keeping consistent pressure. So I think consistency is a little important on this one, as with most things in pottery and life. So yeah, I got about eight more of these that I'm gonna throw. So just sit back, enjoy some music, and watch me throw some twisted mugs. Oh, this is gonna die. I wanted to set up a sweet time lapse. Where did my sponge go? What the heck? Where's my nice sponge? Where the heck? Is it? I just had it like two seconds ago. Oh, I'm so bad at keeping track of things. Oh, I still haven't found my sponge. But I wanted to come on here and say that if you want to buy these twisted mugs, they are on the Kickstarter. So if you want to support our studio build and John the Potter, then go get one of these sweet twisted mugs. You would be, you'll probably get one that I'm throwing today, to be completely honest. Let me know what you think of these twisted mugs. I cannot believe I can't find my sponge. Found it! Let's do this thing. Thanks to everyone who has already backed us on Kickstarter. I cannot say how much I appreciate it. Um, this studio project has just been getting more and more and more expensive and it's um... One, two, one, two, Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I find that four or five um, moves usually work the best. Like this one was really good. This one is super even and consistent. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. So yeah, this that Kickstarter, I just can't say thanks enough to everyone that's backed us over there. Um, it's gonna be super fun to start fulfilling all those orders, get some, JTP t-shirts. Still time, there's still time for you to get in on, on all the sweet stuff. Can't imagine that I'm gonna have much time to sell pottery after this Kickstarter is over, for a while anyway. And by the time I finish all the Kickstarters, then it'll like be time to get ready for fall 
Art Wander and Christmas time already. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you do it with your finger instead of with a tool. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. friends so we got what like 12 12 of these thrown and if you're not familiar with the pottery process we'll let these dry uh, probably not we won't work on them until tomorrow and we'll put handles on them and then they'll I mean these have handles on them but then we fire them we let them completely dry we fire them once up to cone 06 which is like 1800 28 degrees Fahrenheit then they come out and they look pinkish like this. So first they're clay, then they look pink, and this is bisqueware. And then we glaze them. So we dip them in these chemicals, chemical water, whatever they are. And then, I don't have anything glazed. But then we fire it again to cone six, which is 2232 degrees. And then they come out completely finished. And they look like this. So that's the pottery process in a nutshell. That's it for this video. These twisted mugs have quickly become one of my favorite shapes to do just because the glaze has does such interesting things. You can see the glaze just runs right along that ridge each time. Looks super cool. So, pumped about these twisted mugs. If you're pumped about these twisted mugs, go visit the Kickstarter and uh, help us build this pottery studio. That's it for this video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, all the things. I love you very much. We shall see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.